video, we are going to walk through our Symphony Choir and Solo Series remotes. We will go through the basic functions of each remote button and also the benefits of knowing how to use your remote. Here you will see the basic names for each of the buttons on the remote. In the bottom right corner flashing, you will see the symbols displayed on the remotes and indoor unit displays. To get started, locate the button that has the red icon on it. If you press this button, it will turn the unit on and off. The mode button will switch the unit between the heating, cooling, dry, auto, and fan functions. The plus and minus symbols will increase or decrease the temperature. These buttons will not work in auto mode. The fan button will allow you to select your fan speed. You can choose between low, middle, high, and auto. If you are in dry mode, the unit's fan will only run in low speed. The clock button will allow you to set the time. To set the time, press the clock button once. You will see a flashing clock appear on the remote. Press the plus button to increase the time. Press the minus button to decrease the time until the desired time is set. Press the clock button once more to set the time. You will notice the clock symbol is not flashing. The timer on and timer off buttons allow you to set the times that you would like the unit to turn on or off. Use this added feature to get the home ready for your return after a long day. The timer works off a 24 hour clock. To set the timer, press the timer on button once and you will see the word on flashing next to a time display. Use the plus and minus buttons to choose the time you want the unit to turn on. Once the desired time is displayed on the remote, press the timer on button once more and the word on will stop blinking and stay on the remote. To set the time you want the unit to turn off, you will need to hit the timer off button and follow the same steps you followed with the timer on button. The temp button, when pushed twice, will display the current room temperature for 5 seconds before going back to displaying the set temperature. When you press the turbo button, you will see a symbol of a fan appear on the remote. When this button is pressed, the compressor and or fan will blow harder and higher to reach the set temperature quicker. Once the set temperature is achieved, the fan speed will resume the previously set fan speed. To turn this function off, simply press the turbo button until the fan symbol is no longer on your remote. The swing function will control the indoor unit's louver. This will allow you to position how the airflow is delivered to each room for maximum comfort. Hold the button with the swing symbol on it for two seconds and the indoor air louver will start to swing between the highest and lowest limits. Once the swing button is released, the louver will stay in the last position where the button was released. If the swing button is only pushed once, the icon will appear on the remote and the louver will continuously swing up and down until the swing button is pushed again. The blow or X fan button on some remotes is a function to allow the quick drying of the indoor coil, helping to prevent any mold buildup due to excess moisture. The indoor unit fan will continue to blow even if the unit is turned off, helping the drying process. To turn this function off, simply press the blow X fan button once more. The sleep function will increase or decrease the set temperature depending on what mode you are in. For example, if you are in cooling mode when the sleep function is turned on, the temperature will slowly increase a half to one degree every hour to half hour over the course of two hours and remain at that temperature until sleep mode is turned off. This will help conserve energy while you sleep and while there is less activity, you can also use this function while at work. The light button on your remote will allow you to turn on and off the indoor display. The remote default is Fahrenheit. If you would like to switch between the remote and indoor unit displaying Fahrenheit and Celsius, press the mode and the minus button simultaneously while the unit is turned off. The U-Touch or iFuel button will have different labels depending on the remote, but will still have the same function. If you are comfortable at the current temperature where the remote is located, you can press this button and you will notice the figure of a person with stars around them on the remote. Once this appears, the remote control will send a signal of the current temperature at the remote location to the indoor unit. The unit will now set its temperature to the temperature at the remote control location. Until the button is pressed again, the remote and indoor unit will communicate every 10 minutes as long as they are in signal range of one another. Whether you turn the U-Touch iFuel function off or it loses signal from the remote control to the unit, 
it will switch back to the previously set temperature before the feature was activated. This is a great way to maintain your comfort level in any room. The buttons in this frame have no function for your system. Please disregard these buttons. We here at YMGI Group would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you have learned new ways to use your remote and further enjoy your YMGI ductless mini split system. If you have any questions, please call, email, or visit our website.